Welcome to AudioTuts.com. My name is Mo Volans, and in this screencast, we're going to be taking a look at how we move our files from one DAW to another. Now, this may be for remixing purposes, or it might just be the case that you like mixing in different applications. But whatever the reason, there's certainly ways you can go about doing this to make sure that you get the best audio quality and that the result is exactly the same once you've moved programs. So you're looking at a project in Logic Pro 9. It's a simple disco house project, and I'm going to be moving it into Cubase 5. Now, don't worry if you don't use either of these applications. It's really, I'm just showing you the process, and you can translate this to any application you might be using. You could be working in Reason and Record, or Ableton Live, or even Pro Tools. But the technique really remains the same. So we'll take a quick listen to the project. I'll just play a one little section so you can hear what's going on. And then we're going to look at taking various parts out and the settings we're going to use uh, and pre-flight checks, if you like, before we get the audio moving. So as you can see, there's lots going on there. We've got samples, we've got MIDI playback, we've got effects, there's even some vocals thrown in there. So lots to be working with and lots of different types of audio to concentrate on. So let's take a look at how we actually export the audio. And before we get into that, we're gonna take a bit of a pre-flight check and make sure that all the audio is playing back in the correct way so that we get a really good quality result on the other side. So if you look at my project at the minute, I've got the drums soloed and I've colored everything so that it's quite clear what's what. I tend to color my drums in red and instruments and samples in yellow, bass in blue, vocals in pink, etc., etc. So when you get to this point, it's quite clear and it makes the workflow a little quicker. So I'm gonna play back the drums. Okay, the balance sounds pretty good. Everything sounds, sounds great. There's no clipping or distortion. And you can quickly check this in the mixer. and we can ensure there's no clipping happening in each channel. Now, moving over to the right of the mixer, we can see here on the master channel, I've got some basic mastering plugins. And really this is just uh, so I can export a demo or I can hear what it's gonna sound like with some mastering applied. So I'm gonna turn these off and there's just a limiter there and some EQ and a bit of light bus compression. Now, turned off, it means that everything we export from this point is only gonna be treated in the way it is on the actual channel and it's not going to be treated again by the mastering processes so we're going to get a good amount of headroom and we're not closing too many doors with too much limiting or compression <laughs> 